Hello, this is the final video in our series on chart of accounts and QuickBooks Online. To see the first three videos, check out my channel at Montreal Financial and select the playlist called chart of accounts. There will also be a link to it at the end of this video. Some other tips with respect to your chart of accounts, if you want to add account numbers. Currently, the way this is set up, you can't add account numbers. But if you if you want more organization, more control over how your accounts appear on your reports, you would simply go to account and settings. Go to the advanced tab. And here you would enable account numbers. You could show your account numbers and then you would click on save. When you click on done. So when you go back to your chart of accounts, you'll see that there is a new column here for number. And this is where you can actually enter the numbers of your accounts. You can follow the conventional format for accounting numbers, which starts at 1,000 for assets, 2,000 for liabilities, 3,000 for equity, 4,000 for income, 5,000 for cost of goods sold, 6,000 for expenses. And the account numbers would be something in that grouping. So for example, your bank could start at 1,000, your uh, accounts receivable could be 1100 Now, as we go down to your liabilities, your credit card could be 2100 v The TD Visa could be 2110 If we go down to your income, consulting services could be 4010 Your cost of goods sold could be 5001 Advertising, 6020 so you have the option to choose the account number that you want. And again, you would set them up so that they appear in that order on your reports. If you want to, if you don't want to go into each account and click on edit to manually update the chart of accounts, then what you would do is click on this little batch edit. And here you can actually assign all of the account numbers at one time. So this will is a great time saver. So final pieces of advice on the chart of accounts. I recommend customizing the chart of accounts to your business because you want the chart of accounts to help you get as much useful and meaningful information about your business as possible. So it is important to remember that on the profit and loss report, for example, you will see all of your accounts appear and it will tell you the total that you have spent on that item in terms of expenses or that you've received in terms of income from sales. So for example, perhaps you have a lot of website costs. And uh, normally website costs would go into advertising or marketing, but you really want to track your website costs separately because as mentioned, they are quite significant. So you should absolutely go ahead and create a new account for website costs. You can make it a sub account of advertising. So if you want to see all of your advertising expenses, the total uh, or just the website costs. Keep in mind though, you do not want to add too many accounts, otherwise your reports become a bit cluttered. And there are also various ways of organizing data in QuickBooks Online from which reports can be generated that don't necessarily involve having to set up a separate account. So it's a bit of a trade-off between having enough accounts that you have meaningful information and but not too many accounts that your uh, data just becomes cluttered, your reports become cluttered. That concludes our series on 
chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online. If you like the videos, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If there are other videos that you would like to see, uh, and I will try and make them. Have a great day.